Welcome to this tutorial on InLab Cam Software 15. This video explains how to import design data from CID software from another manufacturer in the free STL format into the InLab Cam software. It further explains how the imported design data with restorations from the InLab Software 15 can be processed together in a blank in the InLab M6.5. For this, a new job is firstly created. The M6.5 is selected as the machine and confirmed with OK. In this overview, you firstly see all the design data which has already been loaded in the InLab CAM software. You can access your folders via this button and import STL data, for example from ExoCAD. After selecting the relevant file, you receive an information overview for the design, which you can confirm by pressing OK. The margin line is marked in the next step. Here, too, the InLab CAM software provides a suggestion which you can check and adapt as necessary. By clicking on Next, the dataset is added to the other restoration data. Pure STL data without a margin line can also be integrated simply into the InLab CAM software. The necessary additional information must be added manually, since this is not supplied. You can name the dentist, the patient, the dental technician and assign a job number. The margin line is marked in the next step. An automatic and manual mode are available for this. You should firstly state the restoration type in this case a crown. The margin line is set by double-clicking. Clicking on Apply saves the line. Clicking on the next arrow saves the crown in the design list. A bridge in STL format is imported as the third restoration. Here again, all the information required for assignment of the design must be entered and the margin lines marked. Once again, crown is selected as the restoration type and the lines are marked. The bridge is added to the designs by pressing Apply and then the next arrow. The datasets which have just been imported are already selected. In addition to the SDL files, an in-lab dataset should now be added before the material is selected. In this case, an already saved blank can be used. You see here that designs have already been imported and positioned in the blank ones. The additionally selected items are automatically positioned in the blank. As you can see, work from the InLab software can be easily combined with work which was originally imported from third-party software. All the designs imported into the blank can now be positioned according to your requirements if you are not satisfied with the positioning suggestion from the InLab CAM software. In the next step, the connectors are added and these, too, can be customized. Next, select the production quality of the outer surfaces of each restoration. Areas which have been reduced can, in particular, be finished with a fine or rough quality. The highest extra fine quality setting is recommended for full contour work.
The corresponding machine is then selected. It can be additionally determined here whether the connectors are to be spared before production starts. You can see how the restoration is optimized by the software at all times. The optimizations are performed automatically. For example, here you can see a restoration with a height of 11.83, which was optimized to a height of 10.42. Such optimization is performed both for imported STL files and for in-lab files. The aim of optimization is to achieve an optimal result with minimal material consumption by calculating the lowest restoration heights in the blank. Thank you very much for your attention. Enjoy working with the InLab Cam Software 15.